So the valve cover is all painted. <laughs> I'm gonna let it sit. And then once it's cured for a few days, I'm gonna shave the lettering. Just sand it down so it'll be silver. I brought home the intake manifold and washed it out. And it is a lot cleaner inside. So that is ready to go back on. The oil pan, I decided to just get a new oil pan because this gasket, they're so hard to get off. It's so annoying. And then there's a dent. There's a dent right there, a pretty decent sized dent. So I decided just to get a new one. I still need to paint the exhaust manifold heat shield, but I'm not worried about that until the swap's actually in the car and driving. I just want everything else first. I cleaned off right here, the surface, cleaned off in there, and then cleaned these off and clean the calcium deposits off of the tips so they're all ready for hoses and new gaskets. Uh, I'm gonna do the timing belt now and then I'll set you up on the tripod and I'll film that. I said it's got compression. Did you hear the tape pop? done but I have to take the cover back off that's why I just set it on I got this post mount which I'm gonna use because this one uh, these are pressed in and I want ones that use bolts cuz my motor mounts they get hung up where it's fatter right there and then I got O2 sensor this is the alternator belt that I should not have to bang in my um, frame rail with this belt. It should just work. And then these are transmission bolts. I picked up a flywheel for the CRX. It's just a competition clutch lightweight flywheel. Brand new. I got it for a deal. The the clutch disc that I chose is coming in this week, so I'll make sure to show that. Always make sure to check your harmonic balancer while it's out. Make sure that in here, it's all intact. Uh, and there's no cracking really, so I'm just gonna reuse this one. Same on the inside. Yeah, it looks pretty good, better than most.
And once that's all on, you can check timing again. So this first mark right here, here's three. Those are for your ignition timing. But this first one's top dead center. And as you can see, it lines up perfectly. And then cam gears are up. And then the two marks in there are together. Boom and boom. Uh, now I'm gonna do now I'm gonna do a um, valve adjustment to make sure all the valves are within spec. Oops. All right, valve adjustment's all done now. Um, all of them were a little loose. Uh, maybe somebody in the past did a valve adjustment and they didn't do the right specs or something, but they're all within spec now, so I'm glad I did that. Here's a little teaser with the valve cover on. I'm still waiting on more parts, so that's all I can do for today. Uh, see you guys when I have more gaskets.